I'm Fernando County Sheriff Al Nienhuis. It is uh, late afternoon, Monday, October 7th, and I thought I'd bring you up to date on the latest with Hurricane Milton, particularly as it pertains to Hernando County. There's basically uh, three things I would like to talk about. The first thing are evacuations. As you've probably seen, the shelters will be open tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. It looks like we should get uh, tropical storm force winds uh, starting sometime Wednesday morning, maybe to Wednesday noontime. So you definitely want to be in place uh, absolutely no later than uh, late Wednesday morning. Uh, so plan ahead accordingly. Now, as far as evacuations, uh, if you have to evacuate to some place that's close by, obviously that should not be a very big problem. But they just announced uh, mandatory evacuations for Pinellas County for zones A, B, and C. And talking with Sheriff Galtieri a little bit earlier, that's probably about a half a million people that are going to be leaving Pinellas County. And that's just Pinellas County. And a lot of those people are going to head north up uh, US 19, up the Suncoast Parkway, up I-75. So if you plan on going someplace for Hurricane Milton outside of Hernando County, you're definitely going to give, going to want to give yourself several extra hours because the roads will probably start getting packed very, very shortly, particularly those main feeder roads heading uh, north and south. Uh, Highway Patrol is going to open up the uh, inside, which is the one closest to the median uh, emergency lane, so there'll be an extra lane of traffic headed northbound to get people out of the area that uh, Milton is predicting to hit right now. Of course, that can change. Uh, the predictions should get narrower and narrower as Milton gets closer to Florida. But right now, it is predicted to come inland uh, around Pinellas County, somewhere around the mouth of Tampa Bay, maybe as far south as Sarasota. But we are still in a cone of uncertainty. So if Milton decides to go further north, Obviously, that's going to change uh, the way we react tremendously, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. And one of the best ways to be safe is get the Hernando County Sheriff's app on your cell phone. If you go to your favorite Play Store, either Google Play or Apple Play, and um, look for the Hernando County Sheriff's Office app, you will get push notifications on weather alerts, whether it's uh, flood warnings, tornado uh, watches, tornado warnings, anything of the like. We also use it throughout the year to update you on significant uh, law enforcement issues that are in your area. And you can set that app to whatever geographical location you'd like, whether it's the whole county or just the area around your house. And last and certainly not least, and this is very important, if you live on the coast and there is any chance of storm surge, even though it's predicted at the moment, and that could change, it's predicted to be a little bit lower than Helene, make sure you get those lithium, lithium ion batteries rather uh, to a place higher than that storm surge could reach because if that salt water gets into those lithium ion batteries, it's very likely that they will catch fire. And we, as we told you before, in the first 24 hours after Helene, uh, we had at least seven fires that I know of, and we think all of them, if not most of them, were caused by um, by the lithium ion batteries. So they're very, very dangerous if they get in salt water. Uh, again, I'm Hernando County Sheriff Al Nienheis. I'm gonna have deputies out prior to and after the storm protecting your property, uh, but it's really incumbent on you to protect your own personal safety uh, by evacuating if you believe it's appropriate. Uh, again, we appreciate your support of law enforcement. We never, ever take it for granted. Thank you.